Hello everyone, this is Mridala from Government Medical College and ESA Hospital, Coimbatore. I will be dealing with the anatomy of brainstem. It will be dealt in four parts as shown here. Part 1 will consist of the overview of brainstem. The parts of the brainstem will be taught in the order below upwards starting from medulla oblongata, pons and the midbrain. Internal sections of each part will also be dealt from below upwards. Each class will last only about 10 minutes or even less than 10 minutes. First, today we will see about the general overview of brainstem, the previous year questions, the exam points and lastly the external features. Brainstem forms a link between cerebrum, cerebellum and the spinal cord. Its main function is to control various bodily functions. Uh, the medulla oblongata consists of various control centers which controls the involuntary process such as respiration. Uh, the, except the first and the second cranial nerves, all the other 10 cranial nerves arise mainly from the three parts of brainstem which is midbrain, pons and the medulla. These are the previous year questions. You can take a screenshot if needed. So, they have not asked any essay questions so far from this chapter. Most commonly asked questions are the label diagrams of midbrain and the medulla as 5 mark questions. And in very short answers, all the three parts have been asked repeatedly along with the clinical syndromes. Uh, this time as you have 1 marks also included, questions will be most commonly and uh, most probably asked from the clinical syndromes. So, we should concentrate more on the applied anatomy part as well. Points to be remembered when you give an exam. Mostly diagrammatic questions will be asked in the brainstem. So you should practice well while you learn the topic itself. Presentation is very important and uh, one tip to be followed while drawing is drawing outline boxes for the diagrams. And you can label the parts on any one side, in, on either one side of the diagram and not scattering on all the sides. Uh, so do not use abbreviations and try to use appropriate colors like red for artery, blue for vein and yellow for nerves. External features are important for spotters and grass discussions only, mainly. And internal features like the cross sections at various levels are important for the theory exam and also for histology. Coming to the external features, there are three different views. The view which uh, you are seeing right now is the mid sagittal section in the screen. So the green arrow shows the ventral view and the yellow arrow shows the dorsal view. The term ventral and dorsal are similar to the anterior and posterior in case of anatomy of brain. The mid sagittal section shows the cut section of the brain. So here is the midbrain, the pons and the medulla. Here you can see the cerebellum and the part, the space between the cerebellum and the pons is the fourth ventricle. And here you can see the corpora quadrigemina and the pineal body is present above. As already explained, this is corpora quadrigemina present here. This is the pineal body. This is the cerebral peduncle of the midbrain. And in the middle part, you can see the pons, the fourth ventricle. And in the lower part, you can see the middle oblongata with uh, the pyramidal decussations. So, there is a part called the foramen of mesendi or the median aperture which is present right here. It allows the CSF to pass from the fourth ventricle into the subarachnoid space. It is for drainage of the CSF. Uh, and one more part is present on the posterior as aspect of the medulla which is known as the obex. Uh, that is where the central canal of the spinal cord begins. This is a hand-drawn diagram for uh, simplified uh, understanding. This, this is the ventral view of the brain stem and the smallest part here is the midbrain. A pons shows the bridging fibers and uh, cranial nerves on its surface and medulla oblongata shows the pyramids and the olives, also the cranial nerves emerging from its ventral as lateral aspect. Showing the book diagram of the ventral view, most of the cranial nerves arise from the ventral and the ventrolateral aspect of the brain stem except the trochlear nerve. It is the only nerve which is seen on the dorsal aspect of the brain stem. Um, except the first and the second that is the olfactory and the optic nerves, all the other cranial nerves arise from the brain stem. 
this is the interpeduncular fossa with its contents the posterior perforated substance the mammillary body and the infundibulum present here the boundaries are like optic chiasma anteriorly pons posteriorly and in the anterolateral aspect the optic tracts and in the posterolateral aspect the cerebral peduncles in the lower part we can see the pyramids and the olives and all the other cranial nerves emerging also we can see the uh, decussation of pyramids pyramidal decussation and or the motor decussation and continuation of the spinal cord this is a hand drawn diagram and this is the middle cerebellar peduncle it it connects the pons with the cerebellum coming to the posterior view this is a view after removing the cerebellum so we can see the fourth ventricle here this is the fossa for fourth ventricle which is on the dorsal aspect of pons and we can see the middle cerebellar peduncles here and the superior and inferior colliculus of the midbrain the pineal body is present just above the midbrain posteriorly so as we already saw the posterior part consists of the four colliculus along with the pineal gland and we can see the trochlear nerve arising here trochlear nerve on the dorsal aspect and the superior medullary villum is present here which is nothing but a uh, white matter which stretches between the superior cerebellar peduncles and we can see the locus ceruleus here in the pons which is a physiologically important structure and it is a part of reticular activating system the hypoglossal trigone present here uh, in the upper part of medulla it is an eminence on the floor of the uh, inferior part of fourth ventricle below which the hypoglossal nucleus is present uh, the vagal trigone is present here and it has the dorsal nucleus of vagus uh, this vagal trigone is situated in the closed part of medulla all these areas are physiologically more important than anatomical sites coming to the obex obex means a uh, barrier in latin so which is in the posterior part of medulla and it is the place where the fourth ventricle uh, ends and the central canal of spinal cord begins uh, this is a line diagram showing simplified parts and these are the three cerebellar peduncles it connects the brain stem with the cerebellum the superior middle and the inferior uh, cerebellar peduncles now the medulla oblongata shows a uh, ridges here and which continues i mean uh, it shows elevations which continues as ridges down these elevations on top are known as tubercles and the ridges which continue down are known as the fasciculus medially it is the gracile uh, tubercle and laterally is the cuneate tubercle now these fasciculus are a part of the dorsal column and they carry fibers for fine touch and proprioception all these are physiologically important structures so this is the overview of brain stem we will learn each of its parts in detail one by one tomorrow we shall continue with the medulla oblongata if you have any doubts post post it in the comments below and we will be happy to answer you thank you